the United States has seen a rise in criminal gang activity, with various gangs vying for power and control over their respective territories. Oh, yeah, man, I had my shit pushed in, bro, big time! <laughs> This video will explore 10 of the most dangerous gangs in the U.S., shedding light on their origins, activities, and impact on society. Number one, the Bloods. The Bloods are one of the most notorious and dangerous street gangs in the United States. They originated in Los Angeles, California during the 1970s as a response to the growing influence of their arch rivals, the Crips. The Bloods are primarily African-American, but they have members from other ethnic backgrounds as well. Their reputation for violence and criminal activities has spread throughout the country, with local factions or sets operating in cities across the nation. The Bloods are known for their distinctive red clothing and accessories, which they wear to show their affiliation and loyalty to the gang. Members typically use hand signs and other symbols to communicate their gang allegiance. Their criminal activities encompass a wide range of offenses, including drug trafficking, robbery, extortion, assault, and murder. The formation of the Bloods was initially a reaction to the territorial expansion of the Crips, as smaller gangs joined forces to protect their neighborhoods from Crip encroachment. The gang's early focus on self-protection and community support eventually evolved into a culture of violence as the Bloods engaged in turf wars with the Crips and other rival gangs. One of the most well-known factions of the Bloods is the United Blood Nation, also known as the East Coast Bloods. This group formed in 1993 within the New York City prison system as a means for incarcerated Blood members to band together for protection and control. The East Coast Bloods have since expanded their presence, with sets operating in multiple states along the eastern seaboard. Over the years, the Bloods have developed a complex organizational structure, with each set having its own leadership and rules. Some sets are highly organized and disciplined, while others may be more loosely affiliated. Despite their decentralized nature, the Bloods have managed to maintain a strong sense of unity and shared identity. The violence associated with the Bloods has had a devastating impact on communities across the United States. Many neighborhoods have been ravaged by the gang's criminal activities, resulting in a vicious cycle of poverty and despair. Law enforcement agencies have attempted to crack down on the Bloods and other gangs, but the gang's reach and influence continue to grow. In recent years, the Bloods have increasingly turned to social media and the Internet to recruit new members and spread their message. This shift has allowed the gang to expand its reach beyond traditional urban centers and infiltrate smaller towns and rural areas. The Bloods' ongoing rivalry with the Crips and other gangs has contributed to a culture of violence that continues to plague many communities across the nation. The gang's ruthless pursuit of power and control has left a trail of destruction in its wake, making the Bloods one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States. Number 2 the Crips. As one of the largest and most feared street gangs in the United States, the Crips have a long history of violence, criminal activities, and notoriety. The gang was founded in Los Angeles, California in the late 1960s by Raymond Washington and Stanley Tookie Williams. The Crips were initially formed as an alliance between various local gangs to protect their communities from rival groups. However, over time, the gang's focus shifted to criminal activities, and they became known for their brutal tactics and violent behavior. The Crips are predominantly African American, with members hailing from various ethnic backgrounds. They are easily recognizable by their blue clothing and accessories, which symbolize their loyalty to the gang. The Crips use hand signs, graffiti, and other forms of symbolism to communicate and show their affiliation. The gang's criminal activities encompass a wide range of offenses, including drug trafficking, robbery, extortion, assault, and homicide. The Crips have also been involved in various turf wars with rival gangs, particularly their long-standing feud with the Bloods, which has fueled a cycle of violence in many communities. The Crips have a decentralized structure, with individual sets operating independently under their own leadership. These sets can vary in size and organization, with some being more disciplined and hierarchical than others. Despite the lack of a central authority, the Crips maintain a strong sense of unity and shared identity among their members. 
Over the years, the Crips have expanded beyond their original Los Angeles base, establishing a presence in cities throughout the United States. The gang has also managed to infiltrate smaller towns and rural areas, often using social media and the internet to recruit new members and spread their influence. The impact of the Crips on communities across the nation has been devastating. Their criminal activities and violent behavior have led to increased crime rates, economic decline, and a sense of fear and hopelessness among residents. Law enforcement agencies have made significant efforts to combat the gang's influence, but the Crips continue to be a formidable force in many areas. One of the most infamous members of the Crips is co-founder Stanley Tookie Williams. Williams was convicted of multiple murders and sentenced to death. But during his time on death row, he became an anti-gang activist and wrote several books for young people about the dangers of gang life. Williams was executed in 2005, but his story has continued to garner attention and serve as a cautionary tale about the consequences of gang involvement. The Crips' ongoing rivalry with the Bloods and other gangs has led to countless acts of violence and destruction. Their ruthless pursuit of power and control, coupled with their brutal tactics, has solidified their status as one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States. The gang's reach and influence continue to be a significant concern for law enforcement and communities alike as they struggle to combat the Crips' devastating impact on society. Number 3. Mara Salvatrucha, MS-13 Mara Salvatrucha commonly known as MS-13, is a transnational criminal organization that has gained notoriety for its brutality and ruthless tactics. The gang was founded in Los Angeles, California in the 1980s by immigrants from El Salvador who had fled the country's civil war. MS-13 initially formed as a means of protection for these immigrants against the violence perpetrated by other gangs in the area. However, the gang quickly evolved into a criminal enterprise, engaging in a wide range of illicit activities. MS-13 is primarily composed of individuals from Central American countries, particularly El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. The gang has a strong presence not only in the United States, but also in their home countries, where they have established extensive criminal networks. Members of MS-13 are known for their distinctive tattoos, which often cover their faces and bodies, and their use of hand signs to show their allegiance to the gang. The criminal activities of MS-13 are varied and include drug trafficking, human trafficking, extortion, robbery, and murder. The gang is infamous for its extreme violence, often employing brutal methods such as machete attacks, beheadings, and dismemberment to intimidate rivals and maintain control over its territory. This penchant for violence has earned MS-13 the reputation of being one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States and beyond. MS-13 operates using a decentralized structure with individual cliques or cells acting autonomously under their own leadership. These cliques often collaborate with one another, but they can also engage in conflicts over territory and resources. The gang's loose organizational structure has made it difficult for law enforcement to effectively combat MS-13, as the removal of one leader often results in the rise of another. The impact of MS-13 on communities in the United States and Central America has been profound. The gang's criminal activities and extreme violence have contributed to increased crime rates, economic hardship, and fear among residents. Additionally, the gang's reach has extended beyond urban centers, with MS-13 gaining a foothold in suburban and rural areas as well. Efforts to combat MS-13 have been challenging, given the gang's transnational nature and ability to adapt to law enforcement strategies. However, cooperation between the United States and Central American governments has led to some successes, including the arrest and extradition of key MS-13 leaders. With their brutal methods and far-reaching criminal networks, Mississippi, 13, has become a major concern for law enforcement agencies and communities across the United States and Central America. The gang's ongoing activities and violence continue to make them one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States. Number 4. The Latin Kings the Latin Kings, also known as the Almighty Latin King and Queen Nation, ALKQN, is one of the largest and most organized Hispanic street gangs in the United States. 
The gang was founded in Chicago, Illinois in the 1950s by Puerto Rican immigrants who sought to establish a support network and protect their community from violence and discrimination. Over time, the Latin Kings evolved from a self-proclaimed social and political organization into a criminal enterprise, engaging in a wide range of illicit activities. The Latin Kings are primarily composed of individuals of Hispanic and Latino descent, but the gang has also welcomed members from other ethnic backgrounds. The gang's distinctive symbols include a five-pointed crown, the initials LK or ALKQN, and the use of the colors black and gold. Members often use hand signs and graffiti to communicate and demonstrate their allegiance to the gang. The criminal activities of the Latin Kings encompass drug trafficking, robbery, extortion, assault, and murder. The gang has been involved in numerous violent conflicts with rival gangs, as well as internal power struggles that have led to further acts of violence. The Latin Kings' reputation for brutality and criminality has earned them a place among the most dangerous gangs in the United States. The Latin Kings operate under a strict hierarchical structure, with a national leadership overseeing regional and local chapters. Each chapter is governed by a set of bylaws, and members are expected to adhere to a code of conduct that emphasizes loyalty, respect, and discipline. This level of organization has allowed the Latin Kings to maintain control over their operations and expand their influence across the United States and even internationally. The impact of the Latin Kings on communities throughout the United States has been significant. Their criminal activities and violent behavior have contributed to increased crime rates, economic decline, and fear among residents. Law enforcement agencies have made concerted efforts to dismantle the gang's leadership and disrupt their operations, but the Latin Kings have proven resilient and adaptive. Efforts to address the root causes of gang involvement, such as poverty, social inequality, and lack of educational opportunities, have been proposed as potential solutions to reducing the influence of the Latin Kings and other gangs. Some argue that focusing on community development, prevention programs, and support services can help to steer at-risk youth away from the gang lifestyle and promote positive change. The Latin King's long-standing history, organizational structure, and propensity for violence have solidified their status as one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States. As law enforcement and communities continue to grapple with the gang's impact, the Latin Kings remain a formidable force in the American criminal landscape. Number 5. The Aryan Brotherhood the Aryan Brotherhood, also known as the AB or The Brand, is a white supremacist prison gang and criminal organization that originated in the California prison system in the 1960s. The gang was initially formed as a means of protection for white inmates against other racial groups within the prison system. However, over the years, the Aryan Brotherhood has evolved into a highly organized and violent criminal enterprise that operates both within and outside of prison walls. The Aryan Brotherhood is primarily composed of white individuals, with membership often requiring the demonstration of a commitment to the gang's white supremacist ideology. Members are known to bear distinctive tattoos such as shamrocks, swastikas, and the letters AB, which signify their allegiance to the gang. The gang is notorious for its extreme violence and willingness to engage in criminal activities to further its goals and maintain control. The Aryan Brotherhood's criminal activities encompass drug trafficking, extortion, robbery, assault, and murder. Within the prison system, the gang is known for its brutal enforcement of its own brand of justice, often targeting inmates who have violated the gang's code of conduct or who are perceived as threats. The gang's propensity for violence and ruthless tactics has earned it a reputation as one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States. Despite its relatively small size compared to other gangs, the Aryan Brotherhood is highly organized and operates under a hierarchical structure with a national leadership overseeing regional and local factions. The gang maintains strict rules and a code of conduct that emphasizes loyalty, discipline, and obedience. This level of organization has allowed the Aryan Brotherhood to expand its influence beyond prison walls and establish a presence in the criminal underworld. The impact of the Aryan Brotherhood on the prison system and communities throughout the United States has been significant. The gang's criminal activities and violent behavior have contributed to increased crime rates, social unrest, and fear among residents. 
Law enforcement agencies have made substantial efforts to dismantle the gang's leadership and disrupt their operations, but the Aryan Brotherhood has proven to be highly adaptable and resourceful. The Aryan Brotherhood has also utilized social media and the Internet to spread its white supremacist ideology, recruit new members, and coordinate its activities. This digital presence has enabled the gang to expand its reach and further entrench itself in the criminal landscape. The Aryan Brotherhood's extreme violence, white supremacist ideology, and highly organized structure make it one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States. As law enforcement agencies and communities grapple with the gang's impact, the Aryan Brotherhood remains a formidable force within the American criminal landscape. Number 6. The 18th Street Gang The 18th Street Gang, also known as Barrio 18 or Calle 18, is a large and powerful transnational criminal organization that originated in Los Angeles, California in the 1960s. Initially formed by Mexican immigrants as a means of protection against other gangs, the 18th Street Gang has since evolved into a highly organized and violent criminal enterprise with a significant presence in the United States, Central America, and other countries. The 18th Street Gang is primarily composed of individuals of Hispanic and Latino descent, but the gang is known for its inclusive membership policy, accepting members from various ethnic backgrounds. The gang's distinctive symbols include the number 18, the Roman numeral Keftin 8, and the use of the colors black and blue. Members often use hand signs, graffiti, and tattoos to communicate and demonstrate their allegiance to the gang. The criminal activities of the 18th Street Gang encompass drug trafficking, human trafficking, extortion, robbery, assault, and murder. The gang is known for its ruthless tactics and willingness to engage in violent confrontations with rival gangs, such as the Mara Salvatrucha, MS-13, and other Hispanic gangs. This ongoing rivalry has fueled a cycle of violence and crime in many communities throughout the United States and Central America. The 18th Street Gang operates under a decentralized structure, with individual cliques or cells acting autonomously under their own leadership. These cliques often collaborate with one another but can also engage in internal conflicts over territory and resources. Despite the lack of a central authority, the 18th Street Gang maintains a strong sense of unity and shared identity among its members. The impact of the 18th Street Gang on communities in the United States and Central America has been profound. The gang's criminal activities and extreme violence have contributed to increased crime rates, economic hardship, and fear among residents. Additionally, the gang's reach has extended beyond urban centers, with the 18th Street Gang gaining a foothold in suburban and rural areas as well. Efforts to combat the 18th Street Gang have been challenging, given the gang's transnational nature and ability to adapt to law enforcement strategies. However, cooperation between the United States and Central American governments has led to some successes, including the arrest and extradition of key gang leaders and the implementation of social programs aimed at preventing gang involvement. With their brutal methods and far-reaching criminal networks, the 18th Street Gang has become a major concern for law enforcement agencies and communities across the United States and Central America. The gang's ongoing activities and violence continue to make them one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States. Number 7. The Barrio Azteca The Barrio Azteca, also known as Los Aztecas or simply Aztecas, is a powerful and highly organized criminal organization with roots in the Texas prison system. Founded in the 1980s, the gang initially served as a means of protection for Mexican-American inmates against other racial groups within the prison system. Over the years, however, the Barrio Azteca has evolved into a transnational criminal enterprise with a significant presence in the United States and Mexico. The Barrio Azteca is primarily composed of individuals of Mexican-American and Mexican descent, but the gang has also welcomed members from other ethnic backgrounds. The gang's distinctive symbols include the Aztec sun, the number 21, and the use of the colors purple and black. Members often use hand signs, graffiti, and tattoos to communicate and demonstrate their allegiance to the gang. The criminal activities of the Barrio Azteca encompass drug trafficking, human trafficking, extortion, robbery, assault, 
and murder. The gang is known for its close ties to Mexican drug cartels, particularly the Juarez cartel, which has allowed the Barrio Azteca to become a dominant force in the drug trade along the U.S.-Mexico border. This relationship has also contributed to the gang's reputation for extreme violence and ruthless tactics. The Barrio Azteca operates under a hierarchical structure, with a central leadership overseeing regional and local factions. The gang maintains strict rules and a code of conduct that emphasizes loyalty, discipline, and obedience. This level of organization has allowed the Barrio Azteca to expand its influence beyond prison walls and establish a presence in the criminal underworld on both sides of the border. The impact of the Barrio Azteca on communities in the United States and Mexico has been significant. The gang's criminal activities and violent behavior have contributed to increased crime rates, economic decline, and fear among residents. Law enforcement agencies have made substantial efforts to dismantle the gang's leadership and disrupt their operations, but the Barrio Azteca has proven to be highly adaptable and resourceful. The Barrio Azteca has utilized social media and the internet to recruit new members, spread their message, and coordinate their activities. This digital presence has enabled the gang to expand beyond traditional urban centers and infiltrate suburban and rural areas. The Barrio Azteca's close ties to Mexican drug cartels, highly organized structure, and propensity for violence have solidified their status as one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States. As law enforcement and communities continue to grapple with the gang's impact, the Barrio Azteca remains a formidable force in the American and Mexican criminal landscapes. Number 8. The Black Gorilla Family The Black Gorilla Family, BGF, is a politically motivated and highly organized African-American prison gang and criminal organization founded in the California prison system in the late 1960s. Originally established by George Jackson, a prominent Black Panther Party member, the BGF was conceived as a revolutionary movement with the goal of overthrowing the U.S. government and promoting Black power and unity. Over time, however, the BGF has evolved into a more traditional criminal enterprise, engaging in various illicit activities both within and outside prison walls. The BGF is primarily composed of African-American individuals, but the gang has also welcomed members from other ethnic backgrounds who share their political ideology. The gang's distinctive symbols include a crossed rifle and machete, the letters BGF, and the use of the colors black and green. Members often use hand signs, graffiti, and tattoos to communicate and demonstrate their allegiance to the gang. The BGF operates under a hierarchical structure with a central leadership overseeing regional and local factions. The gang maintains a strict code of conduct that emphasizes loyalty, discipline, and political consciousness. This level of organization has allowed the BGF to maintain control over its operations and to continue expanding its influence. The impact of the BGF on the prison system and communities throughout the United States has been significant. The gang's criminal activities and violent behavior have contributed to increased crime rates, social unrest, and fear among residents. Law enforcement agencies have made concerted efforts to dismantle the BGF's leadership and disrupt their operations, but the gang has proven resilient and adaptive. Efforts to address the root causes of gang involvement, such as poverty, social inequality, and lack of educational opportunities, have been proposed as potential solutions to reducing the influence of the BGF and other gangs. Some argue that focusing on community development prevention programs, and support services can help to steer at-risk youth away from the gang lifestyle and promote positive change. The Black Gorilla family's unique combination of political ideology, organizational structure, and propensity for violence has earned it a place among the most dangerous gangs in the United States. As law enforcement and communities continue to grapple with the gang's impact, the BGF remains a formidable force in the American criminal landscape. Number 9. The Surenos The Surenos, also known as Sur 13, is a large and influential alliance of Hispanic street gangs that originated in Southern California in the 1960s. The Surenos were initially formed as a means of protection and mutual support among Hispanic gangs against their rivals, primarily the Nortenos. 
Over time, the Sorenos have evolved into a loosely affiliated network of gangs, spanning across the United States and beyond, engaging in a wide range of criminal activities. The Sorenos are primarily composed of individuals of Hispanic and Latino descent, but the Alliance has also welcomed members from other ethnic backgrounds. The gang's distinctive symbols include the number 13, the Roman numeral 33, and the use of the color blue. Members often use hand signs, graffiti, and tattoos to communicate and demonstrate their allegiance to the gang. The criminal activities of the Surenos encompass drug trafficking, human trafficking, extortion, robbery, assault, and murder. The gang is known for its willingness to engage in violent confrontations with rival gangs, particularly the Nortenos, and for its territorial disputes with other Hispanic gangs. These ongoing rivalries have fueled a cycle of violence and crime in many communities throughout the United States. The Sorenos operate under a decentralized structure, with individual gangs or cliques acting autonomously under their own leadership. However, these cliques often collaborate with one another and share a common enemy in the Nortenos. This loose affiliation has enabled the Sorenos to maintain a strong sense of unity and shared identity among its diverse membership. The impact of the Sorenos on communities in the United States has been significant. The gang's criminal activities and violent behavior have contributed to increased crime rates, economic hardship, and fear among residents. Additionally, the Sorenos reach has extended beyond urban centers, with the gang gaining a foothold in suburban and rural areas as well. With their extensive network, violent tactics, and ongoing rivalries, the Sorenos have become a major concern for law enforcement agencies and communities across the United States. The gang's ongoing activities and violence continue to make them one of the most dangerous gangs in the country. Number 10. The Outlaws Motorcycle Club the Outlaws Motorcycle Club, also known as the American Outlaw Association or simply the Outlaws, is a notorious one-percenter motorcycle club that was founded in McCook, Illinois, in 1935. The term one-percenter refers to the belief that 99% of motorcycle clubs are law-abiding, while 1% are engaged in criminal activities. The Outlaws are known for their strong sense of brotherhood, their involvement in various criminal enterprises, and their ongoing rivalries with other motorcycle clubs, particularly the Hells Angels. The outlaws are primarily composed of Caucasian individuals, but the club has also welcomed members from other ethnic backgrounds. The club's distinctive symbols include a skull and crossed pistons, the letters AOA, and the use of the colors black and white. Members often wear leather vests adorned with club patches, also known as colors, to communicate and demonstrate their allegiance to the club. The criminal activities of the outlaws encompass drug trafficking, arms trafficking, extortion, robbery, assault, and murder. The club is known for its involvement in organized crime, with a particular focus on the illegal drug trade. The outlaws have established a significant presence in the United States and other countries, including Canada, Europe, and Australia. The outlaws operate under a hierarchical structure with a national leadership overseeing regional and local chapters. The club maintains strict rules and a code of conduct that emphasizes loyalty, brotherhood, and a commitment to the outlaw lifestyle. This level of organization has allowed the outlaws to maintain control over its operations and to continue expanding its influence. The outlaws have also utilized social media and the internet to recruit new members, spread their message, and coordinate their activities. This digital presence has enabled the club to expand beyond traditional urban centers and infiltrate suburban and rural areas. Efforts to address the root causes of motorcycle club involvement, such as poverty, social inequality, and lack of educational opportunities have been proposed as potential solutions to reducing the influence of the outlaws and other one-percenter clubs. Some argue that focusing on community development, prevention programs, and support services can help steer at-risk individuals away from the outlaw lifestyle and promote positive change. The Outlaws Motorcycle Club's Long History strong sense of brotherhood, and involvement in organized crime have solidified their status as one of the most dangerous gangs in the United States. As law enforcement and communities continue to grapple with the club's impact, the outlaws remain a formidable force in the American criminal landscape.